Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to BISP self-learning broadcast. Today I am going to tell you the data management in Salesforce with data loader. So I will explain you what is data loader, what are the features of data loader and how to use data loader. So first of all what is a data loader? Like as you can see here data loader is a client application for the bulk import or export of data. Okay. Uh, let me give you an example that in Salesforce we have an object here. There is a Salesforce and in Salesforce we have an object. Now in this object I want to add a new record. So the be so easiest way is we can add a new record. We can click on new here and we can enter records here. But let's suppose if you have if you want to enter thousand records, twenty thousand records, fifty thousand records, forty thousand records, lakh records, one lakh records, then how to do that? Then you have to do the you, you have to repeat the step one lakh time and it's not an easy task. It will be a very tedious task. So how to solve this problem? So what we can do is we can take the help of data loader. So we can take the help of data loader here. So first let us let me explain you what is data loader. So what is a data loader? It is a client application. See this client application. It means it is only for client. Client application for bulk import or export. Bulk means lots and lots of records. Import and export means we can import the data from Salesforce to our system and from system to Salesforce. It is used to insert, update, delete or export Salesforce record. It means with the help of data loader we can insert, update, delete or export the records of Salesforce. And so we can export or import data to or from CSV format file. It, so the file which will be created after import or export. So the format of that file must be CS, CSV. CSV is, means comma separated values. So if you if you try to import or export data from any other uh, file of any other format then it will not be possible to do that. Now what are the features of data loader? The features of data loaders are number one is an easy to use wizard interface for interactive use. It means it provides a very e easy to use wizard and a very interactive wizard so that anyone can use it. Support for large file up to 5 million records. It can support up to 5 million records. And if you want to insert or import more than 5 million records, then you have to go to Epic Exchange and look for a solution over there in Salesforce. Drag and drop field mapping. So we can map the records with the fields in Salesforce with the help, so with the help of drag and drop. It supports all objects including custom objects. So it means the data loader can support custom objects as well as standard objects. Detailed success and error log files in CSV format. It means once we import or export the records from or to with the help of from sales from or to Salesforce with the help of data loader, it creates two files, two log files, one for success and one for error files, and that to be in CSV format. And it has got one built-in CSV file viewer. So with the help of this, we can view the files that how the files are mapping, how the files look like once it will be uploaded on database or on Salesforce. So let's see how to use data loader. So to use data loader first of all you have to register yourself on Salesforce. So like I have already done and I have created one object here position named as position and under position I have got few custom fields let me show you the fields like here if you see I have custom fields close date description functional area job level location maximum pay minimum pay these are now there are so many fields so if I have to enter records in so many fields or data into so many fields it will take a lot of time so this this time can be saved by data loader so how to use data loader now so first of all go to setup from setup click on data management under data management you can see we have one data loader so when you click on data loader it will ask you to download the data loader 
because I, as I told you, it's a client application, so it will be downloaded on client machine or system machine. Then only we can use it. So click on data loader, download the data loader, and it will start downloading the data loader. So for your convenience, I have already downloaded and installed the data loader. So once we download and install the data loader and open the data loader, it looks like this. Now if you see this, this shows that it's an interface of data loader. It has got insert button, update button, absurd button, delete, hard delete, export, export all. Insert means if you want to insert the data from into Salesforce. Update if you want to update any data. Absurd means we want to insert plus update both. Delete, you want to delete the record. Export, if you want to export the data from Salesforce to our client machine. And export all means it will export the data of all the objects. So let's see how to use this. Now in this case, I have already created one CSV file. As you can see here, the format of this file is comma separated values dot CSV named as position and when we open this we can see we have the yeah like you can see here we have same fields like we have in Salesforce like name open date underscore C and please don't forget to mention underscore C because as I told you that this is the name API name of that field so like uh, you can see here view fields and uh, here you can see the names close underscore date underscore C description underscore C functional area underscore C job level underscore C location underscore under so and I in I enter few records over here close date so I use the same date for all close date number of days status, target date, target date close, job level, function and here I have in, insert the records. Here. Now what I want is I want to update or insert all the records of this file into Salesforce because right now we have no records here. You see this? We have no records here. So I want to insert all the records from this CSV file to Salesforce. So here we have few records so we can enter one by one but if we have got let's suppose if we if we have got one lakh record then how to do that so the best option is use data loader so I use this data loader open this and what do we want we want to insert so I click on insert when you click on insert it will open one interface and it will ask you to enter your username and password of Salesforce like you can see here enter your Salesforce username and password so I, this is the username and I enter my password and click on login. So it's verifying Salesforce username and password. But it is showing error. It's saying that error logging into Salesforce. Please check your report. Why? Because we cannot log in directly with the help of username and password. We need token also, e-token because Salesforce we are using client software, we are using external application to insert or update the data from Salesforce. So the Salesforce, so we require some permissions of Salesforce that please allow us to access your records. So how to access that token? So click on here and my settings. Under my settings, go to personal and under personal you can see here reset my security token so click on security token then click on reset security token and it will display a message that a new security token has been sent to your email ID so I open my mail ID and as I can see here the security token has been arrived here so like you can see here this is a username and this is a security token so I copy this security token from here and go to data loader now but here you have to input your username your password plus security token so 
password is already there I paste my security token over here and click on login now you can see here it's login complete completed successfully so now you understand that you need a security token because why because we are using external application to manipulate the data of a sales force so this is must now next so what do we want is we want to insert the record where into position object here so here we select position and choose CSV file like I told you CSV file so I select my CSV file and my CSV file is position and open please be careful while selecting the object here and next like it so it is displaying a message that initialization succeeded your operation will contain six rows six rows as you can see here how many records one two three four five six we have six records here so click on ok now we have to go for mapping choose an existing map create or edit map so we can go to create or edit map because we have to do mapping so there are two options either you can do one by one or you can click on this auto match field to column so I click on this so now you can see here all the records has the fields and records have been mapped here and whatever names or fields are not mapped don't worry about that and click on OK click next now the step 4 is select the directory where you your success and error log files as I told you that once the record successfully insert or update it displays two log files one for error one for success so you can give the location where you want your error log files and then click on finish so you have chosen to insert new records click yes so it's it will display a message and now you can see here that the operation has fully completed there were six successful insert and zero errors so if you want to see success click on view success errors click on view errors and ok so the record has been updated into Salesforce but if I click on position still there are no records over here why because we haven't insert the record from Salesforce we insert the record from external sources or external application so what you have to do is you have to click on go as soon as you click on go it will display you all the records over here so see we have added how many records we have inserted six records so one two three four five six and if you open this you can see the rest of the details about that field position name open date close date travel required everything is over here so like this we can use data loader to insert the record into database insert the record okay now if you want to export the data how to do that so we can let me show you an example so what I want is like we have one candidate over here so only one record is here but I want to export this record to my system local system so how to do this again very easy click on export which object we want to export so I want to export candidate so I choose candidate from here where do you want to export you have to choose a target so a desktop and choose a name my or candidate export and save dot csv next in third step you have to choose 
how many records or what fields records you want to export so I select all so it will export all the records and finish yes so once it will done it will show a success error that the operation has fully completed there were one successful extraction and zero errors okay let's go back to our system and see if the file has been created with records or not so like you can see here candidate export file is ready here and when I open this I can see one record over here this is same record like Sumit Goyal and this one so this is same record from here C00002 C so you can match it C00002 so this is the same record so like this we can insert and export the data to or from Salesforce with the help of data loader so I hope you have understand how to use data loader and uh, this video will help you a lot so still if you have any problems or queries you can send a mail to me on my mail ID that is sumit.goyal at the rate bisptrainings.com if you want to learn more about Salesforce please go to YouTube and watch the videos about Salesforce over there that's all for this video have a nice day. Goodbye.